Hello. In this episode, we are going to mention how to build chain decision trees in Python. We will use ChefBoost framework. It's fully open sourced and its source code can be found on GitHub. Also, it's available on PyP or pip. All you need is to run the command pip install chefboost. This is the dataset we are going to use. It consists of four features and one nominal target value. All features are nominal features as well. I'm importing the framework firstly from chefboost import chefboost and s cv. Also, I need to import the pandas framework to read the dataset. Data frame will be pandas.readcsv and I'm going to pass the name of the dataset golf.txt. Let's see the first five rows of the data frame. Data frame dot head. Now we can build decision trees. CB chefboost.fit and we are going to pass the data frame and also configuration file here I set the configuration file configuration expects the JSON and we are going to pass the algorithm name and it's going to be chain calling the fit command returns the single tree that's why I'm going to store the a returned object in the tree variable building the chain decision tree is over and uh, it seems that 100% uh, of instances are classified correctly and you can see the build decision tree in the same directory of your notebook outputs rules and rules.py it says that zero index feature which was outlook is sunny then checks the two index feature which is humidity oh look is sunny and humidity is high then return no oh look is sunny and humidity is normal then returns yes we can also make predictions easily shape boost dot predict and we are going to pass the build tree as first argument and here I'm going to pass the test instance and test instance will be defined here and let's say the first item of our data set sunny outlook hot temperature high humidity and weak wind that's it that will be our test instance and this is going to be the prediction it returns no and uh, its actual value is no as well alternatively you can set the test instance from the data frame that I locked and for example one indexed one indexed row And its response is no as well. And let's check for the two index value. We expect it will return yes. And as seen, prediction will be yes for the test instance. Test instance two. So we mentioned how to build chain decision trees in Python with a few lines of code. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.